Hey everyone, I'm Michael. You're probably here because you saw me on TikTok or on Instagram. I've been getting a lot of gift idea prompt questions and I want to help answer those. One of the more recent questions was, how do I come up with stocking stuffer ideas for men? And for men's stocking stuffers, I use the effed up method. Now, before I go any further, I want to give two quick caveats. The first is this is not a gift list. I don't like lists. They tend to not be very personal and they also tend to be really stereotypical. So instead, what I like to share are prompts that help you generate your own ideas that are personal to your person. And the second thing that I want to mention is just because I say something works well for men doesn't mean that it won't work well for someone else. These are more so tends to prompts, which means that they tend to work better for one group rather than another, but you might be able to apply these to just about anyone you know. So let's get into what the F'd up method stands for. The F is food. Grab his favorite snacks, his favorite candy, his favorite treat, something consumable that you don't have to worry about taking up space. And if there's one type of snack or sweet that he really likes, Try and look for something that elevates that a bit. As a quick example, if he likes beef jerky, they sell variety packs of more premium cuts of beef jerky. If he's really into specific types of candies or cultures, you can usually buy imported packs of candy from like Japan or the UK, all sorts of different places. And it doesn't just have to be consumable, eatable snacks. It can also be beverages and drinks. So what's his favorite beer? What's his favorite soda? Is there a drink that he had when you two were on vacation that he really likes that maybe you could find? But snacks are a really great way to fill out a stocking. The D in the effed up method is devices. And this is sometimes a gadget or something that supports a gadget. Like one of my all time favorite go-tos is to get someone either a fast charger for their phone and or a very long charging cable. We're talking braided charging cable at least 10 feet long. And I know that that sounds like a really long cable, like it's probably overkill. I promise you it's not. If you've ever plugged in something behind your couch, that is not too long. And not only that, once they start using something like that, like a really long cable, they won't be able to go back to not using that thing. So it makes it a really nice gift that they end up using a lot. And for guys, this can extend to a couple of different areas. So one thing that tends to be really helpful, even though they don't use it all that often, is going to be a really strong headlamp. I don't know how else to explain this, but even if they never end up using it, they will really like the idea that they have one. And another cool thing from a gadgety perspective would be Wi-Fi enabled switches and bulbs. If you have an Alexa or a Google or a Siri powered device in your home, getting a bulb or a plug that works with those things feels kind of magical almost. Like being able to tell this speaker, hey, turn on the lights or turn off that lamp or make sure that the humidifier is turned on automatically. That's really fun. That's a lot of fun. Okay, so let's move on to the U in effed up, which is utilities. These are things that he can use in his day-to-day -day life. Some of my favorite go-tos are gear or cable ties. They make a couple different versions. So some are Velcro, some are like a moldable rubber but they're really nice for taking all those mess of cables that you have and just kind of getting them out of the way, organizing them a bit. Really, really useful. You can use them in a lot of different settings. And to boot, they're pretty cheap and they fit into a stocking nicely. Another idea, literally anything that measures something else. If he owns tools, he can never have too many tape measures. I recommend the classic Stanley tape measure, but sometimes people have different preferences. He may also like a laser measuring device. And this doesn't just have to be length and width, this could be temperature. So if you got like one of those infrared thermometers or a meat thermometer, pretty much anything that measures something else they would probably find interesting. And the third idea is novel tools. So we're talking about things like a 90 degree drill bit or a universal bit adapter. It could be something like a magnetic bowl to hold nuts and bolts. Basically something that's not necessarily a tool but is tool supportive, if that makes sense. You're basically pre-solving a problem for them with this idea, but those novel tool ideas can be really, really helpful. And the P in effed up is practical. What does he need from a practical perspective? Some relatively safe bets here. Nail clippers, classic stocking stuffer. You're gonna have to trust me on this one. Rechargeable batteries. He will use them constantly. He will love them. Make sure you don't forget to get the charger too. I would also recommend doing this if you're buying him anything that is battery powered. And then some more pragmatic day-to-day -day stuff. Like if he wears glasses like me, screen cleaner is really helpful. If he works on computers a lot, screen cleaner is really helpful. And if you wanted to get even more effed up, the P can also stand for play. Basically like little toys or gadgets. A good go-to is a mini Lego set that's branded after something that he likes. Lego has a ton of IP, so if he's really into Marvel, they have little mini Marvel sets. 
fidget toys and cubes, those are also really popular. And if he likes to play these card or dice games because they're small, they're compact, they fit really nicely into a stocking. But those are some of my ideas for stocking stuff ideas for men. If you want more specific examples of how these prompts might play out, I do have resources available. Again, those ideas are not meant to be prescriptive, they're just meant to be illustrative of where you might go with things. For example, if you look at one of the lists and you see, hey, there's an extra large charging cable for a phone, that doesn't always mean that I'm saying you should get this specific thing for your person. It might just mean, is there a charging cable that would work for their phone that you think you could get for them? Or are you thinking of phone chargers in general and you're like, actually, it would be really cool if you had one of those wireless chargers that you can just rest your phone in. So don't treat them as prescriptive, treat them more as inspiration.